As you can see, I'm in a very dark cave in Minecraft, but if I press a letter on my keyboard, I could turn everything super bright just by pressing a button. Look at that, and that is called the Full Brightness Toggle Mod, and I'm gonna teach you how to download and install this mod for Minecraft 1.21.1. And if this tutorial works, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And now, let's go ahead and begin. Now, the first step to download and install the Brightness Toggle Mod is to click that second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to do this. However, if you don't wanna read through the guide and look at the screenshot, just scroll down to step one and click download. That is going to redirect you over here, where you're going to scroll down and find that 1.21.1 version of the mod. However, you could always filter by game versions and just find 1.21.1 in there. Once you found it, click on these three dots and click download. Now, this mod will work with Forge, Fabric, and NeoForge, so you don't have to worry about selecting a different mod loader. And while the mods download, here's a message from Apex Hosting. If you need a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that supports over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button, then Apex Hosting is the perfect server for you. If you use the first link in the description you get 25% off your first server a server that has locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging or anything like that secure connection hosts it completely online so you don't have to port forward your IP address keep your computer on or anything like that something I personally love about Apex hosting is that you could create the server and then access the server console using your phone meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings kick people out do whatever you want to do it is your server after all I'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25% off and now let's keep going with the tutorial now head back to that second link in the description and as you can see here if you pay attention here on the first paragraph you're gonna need collective so go ahead and click on that collective link in here that is going to redirect over here where we're going to download collective now collective is a mod library required for the full brightness toggle mod to work properly so scroll down and then find the 1.21.1 version in here just like we did before and then just click on the three dots click download file and within five seconds your download will begin let's go ahead and drag and drop collective and our full brightness toggle mod into our desktop that should be here in your recent download history or in your downloads folder within your computer now at this point if you already have forge or fabric or any mod loader installed all you have to do is drag and drop these two mods into your mods folder and you're done you're free to end this video because you already have the full brightness toggle mod however i'm assuming most of you don't have any mod loader and that is where the next step comes in which is installing forge click on the third link in the description which is our reading guide on how to download and install forge however if you don't want to read through the whole thing scroll down to step one and click download forge here that is going to redirect you to the forge official page where we're going to select 1.21.1 right on the top left and then we're going to hit the installer button right here that is going to redirect you to this page where you're going to wait five seconds and only after five seconds you're going to click skip right on the top right and that will finally begin the download for the forge installer and let's go ahead and drag and drop this file into our desktop usually this is the last file we need to download before getting everything set up now we have everything that we need most of the time and you'll see why i'm saying most of the time the first thing that we want to do is install forge to do so make sure your minecraft launcher as well as your minecraft game is completely closed then right click on forge click open with and then select java that is going to open the installer for forge if the java option wasn't there for you stay around because i'm going to show you how to fix that in a second anyways once we open the forge installer click ok once the install client is select and then just wait for forge to finish installing now however if you weren't able to open the forge installer that is because you need java 21 this is not optional this is a requirement all of you will need java 21 for forge to open i know some of you already have it installed because you have watched my videos on the past and if you haven't make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos but if you don't you need to install java i'm going to leave a guide in the description how to download and install java the thing is that after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java whenever you're using any mods making a server installing shaders etc whenever you're doing that to minecraft you're gonna need java 21 installing java 21 is as simple as downloading it and then hitting next a couple of times and that's it you have java installed sometimes you might have to go over to other remove programs and delete your older javas however we have guides for all of that and videos as well on the channel anyways once you install java 21 now and only now will you be able to install forge in your computer okay so now that we have forge 1.21.1 click on okay and now you could even delete the forge installer as you don't need it anymore now it's time to open our minecraft launcher to see if our forge instance is completely installed and as soon as our minecraft launcher is open we could see that 1.21.1 forge is right here on the bottom left so that is great already now we know that we have forge it's time to add the mods and how do we add the mods well head over to installations and in here make sure that modded is selected as you can see without modded we actually won't see anything in here and now find forge in here if you still can't find forge you could always click on new installation name this whatever you want like for example Apex Hosting since it'll give you 25% off using the first link in the description when creating a server and then on the version right here you're going to type in Forge and you're going to select 1.21.1 which is the latest release of Forge and then go ahead and hit create down here on the bottom right and that will add an instance of Forge here for you anyways no matter if you added the instance yourself or it was here once you install it hover over it and click on this little folder right next to the play button but don't worry don't get confused because in here all we're doing for is looking for another folder called mods m-o-d-s and as you can see 
mods is right here, my mods folder. But what happens if you don't have the mods folder there? Great question. I went ahead and deleted mine. All you have to do is create the mods folder yourself. Just click on new, click on folder, and just name this folder M-O-D-S, mods. Go ahead and open that mods folder now. And now drag and drop the collective as well as the full brightness toggle mod into this folder. You could go ahead and get rid of those mods from your desktop. You don't need them in the desktop anymore. And now make sure that any mod that you have in this folder, guys, it's compatible with Minecraft 1.20, 1.1, as well as with your mod loader, which in this case is Forge, okay? Make sure you're using the right mod loader mods in here because you could have some crash happening and stuff. Anyways, once we have full brightness and collective in here, close out from this folder, head back to the Minecraft launcher and go ahead and launch Forge for the first time. You should get this prompt in here. Just click that you understand and then hit play again. And let's go ahead and wait for Forge to open. Now, once the game opens, we see that we're in Forge because it literally says it everywhere. Like down here, it says Forge. On top, it says Warning Forge, Forge, and then Mods over here. So we know that we have mods in Minecraft. Now, let's go ahead and try out that full brightness toggle mod. Now, this is a client side mod, which means that you could try this on single player as well as on multiplayer servers. However, using this on public servers could potentially get you banned if you don't know the rules of the server and stuff. So always make sure that you create your own server using the first link in the description. Anyways, once we're in the world, let's go ahead and go down in here and let's go ahead and try the mod. So let's go ahead and head over somewhere dark so we could test the mod and see if it's working. Now, here we are on a cave and as you can see, it's really dark. But if I press the letter G on my keyboard, everything turns super bright. So there we go. There we have it. We have the full brightness toggle mod completely working on Minecraft. I really hope this video was able to help you out and you were able to install the mods without any issues. If it was like that, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.